I know that the environment is supposed to change, but I, I'm not convinced it's supposed to change this fast. It's the energy from the water under the ground. Whoa! It's hectic. This could be one of our solutions for climate change. <laughs> this is part of an intestinal worm. <laughs> what happens if I get stuck? We'll bring you some sandwiches. <laughs> that is the biggest fish outside of a shark I've had for a while. Well, you look splendid. Boom. This was created by the melting water of the glacier flowing at speed under the glacier itself and it's already shrinking day by day. Just trying to see its dorsal fin poke up. Sorry, thought it was going to bite me. <laughs> but that means that the wild alligator numbers are absolutely booming. This morning I, I had to spook one of them off because he was getting a little interested. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's like more intimidated than any other animal I've ever met just purely on the fact he isn't doing anything and I don't have any idea what he's going to do. We're going to go and meet a glaciologist now and find out just to what extent this is happening. So I'm going to put pressure on you. If you had to guess roughly, like, what kind of age do you think this ice is? Uh, well, the ice from that outlet is about 300 to 900 years old. They just hover around here fast asleep, and then when they want to take a breath, they just get their head up to the surface without even waking up. It is a little bit nerve-wracking. Being bitten by a shark isn't actually painful at all compared to cleaning a shark bite. This is the most painful part of receiving this wound. But it is a reason why quite a lot of these people respect and love these creatures as well. Not exactly what I was expecting. 